Hello everyone, this is Jim Delapine, and I thought I'd do this brief demo tutorial on talking about some basic functions in Photoshop with regards to a few tools. I've created this file here with a simple gradation, and I have on the layer above, I have a um, this Sally Seashell item that I put in here. So let me just get to that later. Uh, I'm going to select the background layer and talk about the magic wand tool. So what the magic wand tool does, it's one of the selection tools that allows you to select colors in your image. The definition of the tool is that it selects similarly colored pixels, okay? It's also depending on the tolerance. So by default, the tolerance that comes up when you choose this tool is 32. So if you use that tolerance and click on a gradation, for example, it will create a selection of similarly colored pixels that are within a tolerance of 32, or a range of 32 pixels, okay? So, the lower the tolerance, if I lower it to 11, for example, it will select fewer pixels, okay, so within the tolerance of 11. For example, if I had one selected, it will select a tolerance of one pixel within that color range, okay? So if I zoom in, you can see here that all of these colors will be the same within a tolerance of one. All right, to go to the other extreme, if I select 100, so now it's selected a range of a tolerance of 100 pixels. Okay, so that being said, I'm going to now talk about two important keys. The Shift key and the Alt key. If you're in the Mac environment, it would be the Option key. Shift and the Option. So, I'm going to make a selection. So, I'm going to create a selection using the Rectangular Marquee tool. So, if I click and drag, I'm creating a rectangle. When I let go, my cursor is still held down. However, as I'm dragging, if I hold down the Shift key, it will constrain it. Okay, so the Shift key has two purposes. It will constrain and add to. So constraint can mean a few things. It could mean when you go to move this selection, right, you can move it anywhere you want, but if you hold down the shift key as you're dragging, it will constrain that to a vertical slide or a horizontal slide or a 45 degree angle. Okay? Now the other function is that it will add to the selection. So that means that if I hold down the shift key now, before I click on the selection, so before what I did was I click and start dragging and then hold down the shift key, okay? This time I'm going to hold down the shift key first and then click and drag. And that means whatever I surround, I will now be adding to that current selection, okay? So that's one of the functions of the shift key. It will constrain and add to. Another function uh, of the other key that I mentioned is the off key that will duplicate and subtract from. So as long as I'm in the selection tool, I can now hold down the Alt key or Option key if you're in the Mac environment. And whatever I surround now, whatever I surround now will be subtracted from the current selection. Okay? Alright, so I'll deselect. And now let's talk about the other function of the Alt key or Option key if you're in the Mac. And that is to duplicate. If I'm in the move tool now, I have to be in the move tool. All right, because I want to move these solid pixels. Okay, this is on a transparent background, so I want to move these solid pixels. So if I hold down the Alt key, and you'll see this double arrowhead here, that means I can click and drag, and it will duplicate. However, what it will do is duplicate the layer also. So let me undo that Control Z. Now, if I want to constrain, all right, before I can just hold down the Alt key and click and drag anywhere, it will duplicate it, but move it wherever I want it to. So let me undo that. If I hold down the Alt key and the Shift key, it will click and drag and duplicate, but constrain it to a vertical slide. All right, or a 45 or a horizontal slide, or a 45 degree angle. Okay? So let me undo that twice. Right? Another thing is to mention is to please take advantage of the shortcuts. 
make sure you learn the shortcuts. Very important. Another feature is that if you want to make a selection around all opaque pixels on a layer, the control key or the command key and control or command click on the thumbnail. That will put a selection around all opaque pixels on a layer. Alright, so these are all opaque pixels. So now, if I want to duplicate that, it will keep it on that layer. It won't duplicate the layer. As long as I have the selection up. Okay, so now if I click and drag, it will duplicate it, but keep it on that layer. Alright, so that's another little feature. Alright, now, let me tell you, we just undo and undo back again. So control Z, control, control Alt Z goes back, back, back. So control Z does undo. Control Z again does redo. So you can go back, forward, back, forward. If you want to undo and go back, 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 it would be control Alt Z, 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 Z. Okay? Now, let's do this. Let me just bring this to the center and merge these two layers together. Control E. Okay? Now, if I wanted to make a selection of Sally Seashells, okay, of this disk here, all right, I would go to the elliptical marquee tool, and then somewhere up here, click and drag, and then the purpose is to, maybe hard to see the selection on the video here, but the purpose is to make a perfect selection around Sally Seashells to copy and paste it, bring it to another layer perhaps, okay, for whatever reason. So now, as you're dragging, if you hold down the space bar, it allows you to reposition your selection. All right? In other words, in order to get a perfect selection around this, you'd have to know exactly where to start up here, all right, with my cursor. So if I click and drag, you'd have to be right in the right location, but more often than not, you won't be. You'd have to get lucky. So if you hold down the space bar, however, it allows you to then reposition your selection. So my space bar is held down right now, all right, and I'm lining this up with the top and left-hand side of Sally Sheet's seashells. Do this three times. And then let go of this space bar, and then I can rescale, all right? I'm going to trust that this is not a perfect circle, otherwise I'd hold down the shift key. And then I'm going to rescale, and then if I'm still off, I can hold down the space bar again and reposition again. My cursor and my space bar is held down right now. I'll let go of the space bar and then continue to drag my uh, my cursor until I see that it looks like it's right around selling seashells and then let go of my cursor. Alright, so that's how you would do that. Now, let's say that the assignment asks you to use the lasso tool around this. Alright, so I know there's one part of the assignment that requested that you do use the lasso tool. Now Big tip with regards to the lasso tool. So this is a simple circle, but there's other objects that, uh, I mean, that require, they're odd shapes, let's say. Okay, so, but for a circle, let's say I go to the lasso tool. For you to click and drag, and you certainly would not use this tool for this, but this is, I'm using this as an example. For you to click and drag and go around this and be accurate, your hand would clamp up so quickly, all right? It, it's kind of like drawing with a rock. You simply can't do it. So, here's my suggestion. You go to your original point, click, and just start dragging a little bit, and then hold down the Alt key, or the Option key. So, with my Alt key held down, I'm in the Windows environment. You can then let go with your cursor, your mouse, and what you have is a polygon lasso tool. So it's two tools in one. By using the Alt key, you get the lasso tool and the polygon lasso tool. And that will allow you to click, 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 click. My Alt key is held down now. And that will allow me to click, click, click in short increments to go around a perfect circle. And that will free your hand up. All right. You can let go of your hand. Check it out if you want. Check out your wrist. It will help you avoid that carpal tunnel syndrome. And it will allow you to very slowly and accurately go around any object that you want. Okay, my old key is held down at all times. Once I go around that object, oh, also in addition to that, it's also the lasso tool. So that means that you can.
click and drag and start creating a freeform selection, with which is what the Lasso tool is. It's a selection tool that is a freeform selecting tool. Okay, it allows you to click and drag and basically draw a selection. So I have two tools in one. My Alt key is still held down. So when I'm happy with my selection, I let go of the Alt key and I have a selection. Okay. So if I wanted to add to this, what would I do? Remember what I said, the Shift key and the Alt key, the two purposes. Shift key will add to and constrain. The Alt key will duplicate and subtract from. Well, the Shift key would allow me to click and add to. The Alt key held down would allow me to subtract from whatever selection I... Whoa, what did I do? Accidentally here. So the Alt key allows me to subtract from any selection. That pretty much covers what I wanted to share. Most importantly, it's using the lasso tool in conjunction with the Alt key or Option key. That allows you to access these two tools in one, the lasso tool and the polygon lasso tool. All right, that will free up your hands from cramping and uh, life will be good. All right, all right, guys, I hope this was of value to you and I will see you soon. Bye.